Hey, what's up, guys? This is me, Soilis. Welcome to my channel, SBRC Enforces Nepal. If you are new to this channel, please go to the description. You will find the link to our playlist. And other videos are uploaded in this playlist. Well, guys, in this 14th video of front end development, I'm gonna teach you about some basic uh, HTML with CSS part 4. Let's start in our computer screen. Okay guys, now we are in our computer screen. Open any text editor like sublime text, then do control N. Uh, then uh, type here uh, your project name like menu.html. Uh, then you can type here some basic uh, code of HTML. I'm going to type here uh, menu. Uh, title is menu. Then under the body you can type here um, uh, code here um, like uh, ma uh, navigation bar for nav then under the nav ul ul then li here type the home uh, i need this uh, others li so i'm going to copy this paste paste um, one two three four okay uh, i'm going to one more uh, first one is home then second one is about us about us then third one is services S -A -R -V -I -C -E -S, services then next one is project the next one is contact us c o n t s c t contact us okay uh, now let's see how it look like in browser uh, wow this is looking awesome um, but there is bullet I'm going to remove this blade mm, first of all I'm going to uh, set the link at ahref uh, okay guys uh, I think you know about uh, ahref tag um, it will be for linkage to another pages like this okay guys uh, then close this tag by forward slash with a i'm going to copy this with uh, for all menu uh, paste and paste here also paste here okay guys then i'm going to closing tag of a um, uh, copy then paste here again paste here again paste here then also here okay guys this one is completed oh, i'm going to show you how it look like okay refresh it there is some changes uh, there is underline and color will be changed blue color due to the um link uh, okay guys now i'm going to um, say the uh, style for css uh, here you can type um any modification of CSS um, I'm going to say the name first one is the name then next one is name ul this means ul of name uh, and next one uh, here I'm going to say the um, list style it goes to none when you set this then bullet will be removed now refresh it there is bullet will be removed uh, okay guys uh, now I'm going to set a name then ul then li this is the li of ul ul of nav okay uh, now I'm going to set here uh, float its cost to left when I set this then all um, the menu will be like this in left side uh, okay and now uh, I'm going to set a nav ul li then a this one um, here I'm going to set the uh, text decoration text decoration is non um, then underline will be removed let's see okay guys it will be working um, now I'm going to set the color uh, color is cost to has FFF this means the white color 
then i'm going to set the background color is goes to uh, has zero 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 this means the black color this is the color code when you refresh it okay guys this one is awesome Mm, this is pretty easy okay guys you can flow me guys uh, then i'm going to say the padding is cost to 10 px 10 px let's refresh it okay it one it will be looking awesome then border right side um, one px uh, dotted and solid uh, i have teach you in previous video about border okay guys uh, let's see how it look like now you can see here uh, some dotted line um, okay <coughs> uh, I'm going to uh, change the padding 15 px uh, then it will be uh, so little bit pretty okay guys that's that was awesome wow that's um, home okay yeah um now i'm going to set uh, nav a uh, when you set here hover there is no any space after a okay guys hover uh, background is cost to i'm going to set uh, orange color then um i'm going to set the color it's cost to um has zero zero has f f f okay guys now how is look like let's see refresh it when you hover the menu uh, background color will be changed i'm going to change the text color um has um, let's zero zero black color okay guys <coughs> uh, refresh it then when you ro uh, hover then background color is orange then um, text color will be black okay guys now this one is awesome um, it is so pretty easy okay guys flow me uh, i will teach you everything about html and css now guys i'm going to sit here um make one um classes uh, this class name is active here dot active uh, i'm going to set the uh, default selected default uh, hover uh, its uh, background color is orange um, our default is home okay guys then color is goes to has zero zero has zero 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 okay triple zero okay guys now let's see how it look like okay guys home is by default um hover or active you means um you can set like this but uh, uh, you can change like this uh, uh, in your according to your uh, required but um, developer we set to uh, with dynamic curly uh, we set here on like this when you copy this with comma then you can remove this line then that is means also same like this okay guys there is no any different when you refresh it okay there is no any difference now i'm going to show you uh, in left side oh sorry right side uh, if i need to in right side float its cost to right if you need to left then type left then if you want to right side then type right okay float is right but if you need to this one is um in center then uh, first of all i'm going to change the font family uh font is font family is arial let's refresh it oh uh, arial is so beautiful font family okay uh, now i'm going to set them uh, this menu 
will be in center uh, then you can set your text decoration oh text align sorry text align is goes to center uh, now it will not working there is no any effect uh, so guys uh, we have one next property um, uh, this one is left <coughs> we don't have any center um, property we have another property I'm going to show you and this property name is display okay this property is display display what in line when you set this property all men will be so showing in inline but there is some gaps between the menu okay uh, if you want to ma manage this gap then say the margin right it's cost to minus 4 px I have said the margin right is equals to minus 4 px in the right side we have mar uh, said the margin mm, uh, okay when you zoom it zoom out it will be in between the page okay but how to know minus 4 px how to set minus 4 how to know then first of all I, I'm going to show you by default position 0 px um, let's type 0 <laughs> our default is 0 then there is then you can type your inspect element uh, then click here then select the menu uh, here we have the class active then here uh, you can change it margin right um, when you set the plus it will be too much uh, different than uh, uh, gap then minus it will be awesome okay minus 4 is perfect for us minus 5 is little bit there is some problem uh, uh, between the service and project I'm going to show you uh, when I type the 5 px 5 px okay minus 5 px okay guys not plus 5 px uh, when you set this uh, minus 5 px let's see refresh it there is no any gap and then here is also problem service uh, between the service and project uh, so we need to set 4 px is perfect for us in this way you can set the margin right um, as for require Mm, okay <coughs> uh, this is so awesome uh, now I'm going to show you next project uh, do control and then uh, save this uh, project uh, I'm going to save this box dot over HTML uh, over miss overlapping and uh, that means okay uh, our title is the box under the body uh, I have created the one division uh, this divisions um, uh, class name I'm going to say the box now style let's set the style <laughs> style dot box um, it's cost to uh, inbox our height is 150 px then width is 200 px background color oh sorry not clip color background color is goes to uh, i'm going to set a red color now let's see oh damn there is no any output uh, then you can this one which is always be in first okay guys first now uh, with then height okay when you set this then refresh it wow that's awesome okay guys 
now I'm going to uh, paste here some text uh, now let's see there is some overlapping here uh, how to arrange this uh, overlapping uh, I'm going to set the some padding um, 5px okay oh little bit uh, I'm going to change it um, 10px is best I think okay 10px refresh it wow Mm, now 10px background is this okay now guys uh, i'm going to set the overflow it's cost to visible by default it will be visible but it uh, when you type here and uh, it means um, there is no any difference uh, by default this one is visible i'm going to comment this the next property is um, overflow it's cost to uh, hidden this one is uh, next property when you re uh, replace it okay overflow uh, part will be hidden uh, only so um, in boxes part okay N our next um, property is overlap uh, overflow it's cost to score when you say this there is a score but in downside we don't need this score then how to manage it okay guys in this case uh, overflow score is also flop then uh, comment it now I'm going to show you next one is auto overflow it goes to auto when you say this okay in only right side there is no any uh, downside uh, when you uh, type uh, here I mean some there is uh, for example uh, your um, one line first line is too much lengthy uh, now I'm going to show you then how is working um, when you refresh it automatically uh, down arrow is also coming down score sorry um, when you remove it automatically this one is also removed this is uh, this score bar is coming uh, as for your required your uh, text okay how long is your text it depend on your text and box thank you for watching the video guys if you are already part of this channel uh, do not forget to practice every day and do not forget to share with your friend because sharing is caring If you enjoy this one, I would like to say make sure do subscribe our channel and hit that like button It will be motivate me to make new videos So leave the comment below hashtag challenge accepted and do practice every day Thank you